Regarding uh, Bender's appearance on Poole's show, am I supposed to believe Poole has some moral reasoning for avoiding you now because of the Crowder-Ethan thing for Crowder? The guy once crashed Jenks South by Southwest for him, dressed as him and mocking his weight. No, he's using that yeah. uh, Ethan event as a cowardly excuse why he won't invite you on again. Yeah. Also, today is my birthday. Can I get a show for you, Skin? So apparently... I haven't seen this. Uh, Matt said that at one point, it was a three-hour interview. Matt said at one point, uh, Poole said, you come back and come back with a guest. And um, and Matt said, well, maybe I'll bring back Sam Cedar. And apparently, <laughs> Tim Poole was so offended that I showed up in that Steven Crowder debate that he won't have me back on. Now, let's let's be clear. Tim Poole asked me to do his show. And this was, was pre-vaccines. I know that. I don't know when it was. Maybe it was like a summer 2021 or something. And he said, the COVID's over. He, he asked me to come on a show. And I'm like, sure, I'll do it. Um, and I went into his DMs. This was, this was like a few months before the Crowder thing. Okay. But it, it was also pre-vaccine. And I went into his DMs and he said, uh, my producer will work out the details. We'll put you up and this and that. I said, wait, wait, put me up. Why can't we just do this uh, Zoom? Because at the time, right. I'm not only doing this show on a daily basis, I'm doing the Peacock show, the right. second Peacock show. So I'm literally doing two shows a day. And you have kids. And <laughs> I have kids and I don't trust that dude's COVID protocols. Because they don't even take it seriously, and I'm unvaccinated, and I'm, at that time, a 54-year-old man. So, pass. And I said, but I will do Zoom. He's like, we, we, it's called, the, the, the name of the show is called In Person or something like that. I don't know what it was, a real life or something. I can't remember. And so he goes on Twitter and says, I backed out. I, you know, like, I, I lied publicly. I said I would do it, and then I said I wouldn't. I said... I, I, this is all taking place in the context of five or 10 minutes where, you know, just back and forth or maybe I don't know, a couple hours. I can't even remember. And uh, so he was pissed about that. And then he said uh, it was a function of, um, oh, he spent 22 minutes on it on his channel. When Defending Steven Crowder. Oh yeah. That was back From at that time. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. After, after, you know, you confronted Crowder, he was, uh, he, he had Crowder's back. And let's be clear. Was I was invited. Police. I was invited by Ethan onto that show. And watch him. He's really mad at you. I think he calls you a coward in this clip. And and Ethan <laughs> invited me on. Well, Ethan has every right to do that. That's between him and Crowder. I'm not. I mean, like, Ethan. I didn't owe anything to Stephen Crowder to not go on his uh, the thing. Ethan's whole point was like this guy who has a lot of people like, including Sam, are requesting for a debate. Jumps immediately onto uh, challenge me to a debate. Clearly because I have a giant. YouTube channel and Ethan said well why don't I why don't I you instead invite somebody who knows what he's talking about so uh, but here is all right, let's just play this little clip I guess somebody found uh, okay oh he yeah said here that it he is. couldn't do it because he hosts his own show he did mention COVID to be fair but then he turns it into this tweet where he's coming after me implying we were unsafe when we followed every COVID guideline, we have hand sanitizer everywhere, and we were allowed <laughs> to do the sanitizer. show as per normal guidelines. Sorry, right, pause, the room it, is pause extreme. I, Just to be clear, the, the guy is putting up the, uh, I mean, my tweet says, presumably, uh, and go into an enclosed, presumably airtight studio with maskless folks talking for several hours during a second wave of the pandemic. Now, at this point, he's down in D.C., in New York, we were having a second wave. This is 2020. So this was, yes, pre-vaccine, like the summer oh, yeah. of 2020. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, you're a second wave. What are you talking about? Uh, we've had 700,000 deaths since I think <laughs> yeah. he, he, he wrote. The book. And uh, later, uh, Tim Pool got COVID. So. Per normal guidelines, the room is extremely well ventilated. You can probably hear the fans. But Sam thought it would be good to lie, to make things up, because he never wanted to come here in the first place. And even after he knew it was in studio and the 13th is open and we will pay for everything and he agreed to do it, it was all just a big con. Sam Cedar is a lying coward. And that's why people like Steven Crowder should not debate him. And that's why Steven was right from cu for cutting him off and saying no. And Ethan Klein is is damaging everything, making it all worse. 
because his interest is personal gain for what his is pop it? What culture is damaging crap. everything? He doesn't know what he's talking you're what is ruining that? Oh everything. God. You're damaging everything. What does that even mean? Society. Wait a second. Where's my uh, DM from <clears throat> from Tim? Do, can he erase it on my thing? Maybe he blocked you and then those no. go away. No. I don't No. Unless he shuts down his account. Oh wait, here it is. Wait. Oh my god. How do I show uh... the DMs? <laughs> You'd have to screenshot them, Sam, I imagine, if you wanted to. I'm trying to find... Try to send Just... him a DM, and then the conversation will come up. At Tim Cast. Yeah. Okay, Tim Cast. Oh, my God. This is... I'm up to the show. Here it is. is. Okay, here it is. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Um, Can you put it on screen? Uh, where, uh, where does this start? Okay. I don't think so because we'd have we to had log a long, in. To yeah, mass we monitor. had a long. Yeah, just put it on the camera <laughs> like this. Oh yeah. We had a long. We had a long, a long, a really long. Go to a one shot of <laughs> Sam really quick. October twenty. Okay, so oh, I write no. in. So what's the details? I can have Lydia arrange everything for you. The show is, and and apparently in that original tweet, the public tweet, he said live in studio, and I guess I just didn't. It didn't register me like, wait, I'm in studio? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. we're live in studio here. Doesn't mean Nomi's here. Yeah, yeah. Like, Nomi's not here. So he says, uh, I said, so what's the details? He goes, I can have Lydia arrange everything for you. Show is 8 p.m. live in studio DC area. We can fly you out, get you motel. We hang out for two hours motel. and talk about current events. I can do a group check to connect you if you want just to send me an email. I get, and I wrote down immediately, I can't fly down to DC. I do a daily three hour show. You don't do any remotes. We set up the show back in January for in-person only, which I got to be Shut honest, I don't follow his content. Uh, I mean, you'd literally done this. You'd, you'd been on him. I'd, him I'd actually done an interview with him where I had done it via Zoom or whatever it was. Uh, we don't have a way to connect everyone to a Skype call or display it. We've rejected some centrist and right wing people for the same thing. So I take no issue if it can't be done. We can try to find a time when you're free to travel, but I get it. It's one of those challenges of getting guests. You and Hassan have been uh, your own content, so it's probably harder for you, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. What? And I, and I wrote, COVID hasn't affected you bringing people into the studio? <laughs> no, no one. We actually stopped guests for a while over it. Rogan never did. Then we started up in the past or a month or so again. And I wrote, Trump never did either. <laughs> this was after I think he caught it. Uh, I guess you just roll the dice and hope you don't pull a seven. Um, and I wrote, maybe if I have a day off, which of course, I never had a day off where I wasn't doing one of those shows. And then, okay, he must have gone on public and said that I lied. Yeah. Because then I wrote, I don't know why you've suddenly, this is October 13th, so I don't know if it's a couple of days ago. I said, I don't know why you suddenly took offense to the above reply. Care to elaborate? And he goes, you agreed to an in-studio interview for publicity. You lied. <laughs> and I wrote, I had absolutely no idea. In fact, you know what? We should, we should do, we, we should DMs. print all this out and yeah. do it. a separate a thing on this. Because, because now that I see this and realize like, yeah. that motherfucker lied himself. Tim Pool's a big old liar. You lying coward, Tim. Because you heard, like, I just you read the entire- You ruined everything. Tim Pool is a liar. I read the entirety of that thing right there. I didn't explicitly say, I'm not coming in there for COVID, but I expressed some COVID issues. Oh but I also said like, I, I don't have the time to come down to DC and he was perfectly fine with it. And then something happened where he went online and decided that I lied about it. And then I'm like, I don't know why uh, and I, I just said, I, don't, I had absolutely no idea you only did in studio interviews and had no idea you weren't in New Jersey anymore, which is where I also thought he lived. And what date was it? Oh, that? really? Okay. So yeah. October 13th was when I said, what got you up so upset? Mm. Yeah, it was October 10th that we right. had that original exchange. Yeah. So something happened in between there where he felt like he needed to make some type of story up right. as to how I was... You know, and I, I imagine it has to do with that, you know, blacklist or whatever he claims that I'm on. I don't give a shit about Clear those people. On a blacklist? The Joe Rogan blacklist? Yes, whatever. Who cares? Oh. I mean, I, did, I couldn't. Other than I the opportunity to 
humiliate him or have him humiliate me, which, you know, some people get off on that. I get on. Uh, that's not, that would be fun right? Uh, to have Tim pool. Just, you know, who knows? But I, these guys, like you're, you're chasing my clout. I got news for you. There's very, very few people who watch their shows who would have even remotely any interest in what I'm talking about. <laughs> as soon as I yeah. start saying, uh, you should get vaccinated or you should wear a mask in certain situations at this point. Oh, no way. I mean, it's just the, the case. Like, you know, we have data. I know who I share, the top 10 shows I share, uh, and, and it's nowhere even remotely close to Tim Pool or Joe Rogan or, you know, Jimmy Dore, whoever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're just afraid because they are nervous about having mm -hmm. their, the, 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 the frailty of the positions they hold challenged. And the funny part is, is that I could go on there and show that Tim Pool doesn't know crap and it wouldn't jar 95% of his audience. But, but it's, they are insecure personally. Tim is deeply, deeply, deeply insecure about what, he what, what his knowledge is. And he knows it. And he does not want to bring somebody in there who he's afraid is going to expose it. Because he knows, and Rogan knows this too. If I go on that show, it's going to be the last time I go on that show. They know I don't give a shit enough about getting invited back. That they know if they invite me on, I'm not going to pull back at one point because they're getting upset. That's why. That's why. It's not that I'm like some genius debater. It is because they know that I don't care about a second appearance on their, on their show. And I don't. And that's why. That's why Tim is making up all this like... Or it's the Avengers. Or it's the Avengers. I mean, like, Tim's apparently in this clip, it's like some moral thing that I, I jumped on, like, uh, you know, the Ethan had me on. It's like a moral affront to him. The guy's got like a, you know, like weapons on his thing there. I don't know what that's supposed oh to be. Oh, my God. Pirates or something. It's, it's easy access. Holy crap. He let's, might get let's, let's, triggered. Let's,